Hello lovely people, I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to boost my beloved Marshall DSL20 head with my beloved Boss Blues driver. In the loop! I've never done that before in my entire life. Isn't that crazy? I know I'm not reinventing the wheel here, but personally, I've never tried it. So uh, let's go to my rehearsal space. Okay, let's go. Ma, ma, ma. And the reason why we are doing this is because we are going to play a festival show with Radiant in a couple of days. Radiant is a very poor band. We cannot afford... <laughs> We cannot afford a sound guy, so uh, some random guy will mix us there. It's not a problem. He or she will do a good job. But I do not rely on this, so I want my solos to be heard. And uh, this is why I'm trying to boost my Marshall um, with the Blues Driver in the effects loop instead of in front of the amp. Okay? Hopefully it works, otherwise you are not going to see this video. Alright. Here's a 30 year old very optimistic me um, being too optimistic about putting my Boss Blues Driver into the loop because what happens when you put the Blues Driver into the loop is this. So let's say it's a little bit of hum and forget about the little bit part. It's hum. It's a lot of hum. It's very hummy. Man! So what I did, I put the output which is the left side from the Blues Driver into the return of this amp and uh, the right side of the blues driver goes into the send. Here it says input on this pedal, okay? So actually it kind of works. This is the hum without the loop engaged. It's a little, little, little bit of hum, but nothing that like pisses me off or so. But if I engage the loop, this does not make me happy, but it works. It works and it works very, very good. Now the pedal is off. The level now is at, at noon. The drive is at zero and the tone knob is at noon. And it works completely different than having it in front of the amplifier. So there is really a boost in volume, which I very like, but the hum is making me go nuts. I'm not happy with the hum, man. I'm not happy with the hum. Let me try my exotic effects BB preamp, I guess. Uh, let me show you. All right, now I hooked up my BB preamp by exotic effects. Can you zoom in a little bit, please? The editor, which is me. Huh, I'm so smart. It's a nice little pedal, um, and I put the gain at zero. And the nice thing about this is you have a treble and bass knob, which you do not have with a Boss Blues driver. So you can adjust the EQ, which is pretty, pretty handy. In this case, um, the treble here is almost full. It's, uh, what is it? It's four. Yeah, let's say it's four o'clock. We have the bass knob at two o'clock. Let's uh, engage the FX loop so we create this nice, nice hum. Let's see what happens when we engage the BB preamp. Aua.
wish this amp would have a second master volume, which would make the amp even more useful life. It kind of works, but it, it hums like hell. It hums like hell. <laughs> but see how great it works. I think I found a workaround. I didn't want to bring uh, I didn't want to bring this little foot switch here because the problem is the cable is not very long. If you have a bigger stage and the amp is like let's say six seven meters away from you, the the cable isn't long enough, unfortunately. But this is how I could use it, right? So let's say we put this pedal always on, okay? Is this a good workaround? Okay, I will decide later. I don't know. It's hard. It's a tough decision. I hope you liked this shitty video. If so, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, ring the bell. <laughs> See you very soon. Take care. Bye bye. Oh my god. Why is it humming so bad? I don't know. I'm not happy today.